Funky, it's me, DDP, and you, you're watching the world of MMA, so stay tuned or you will feel the bang! If you want to know more about DDP Yoga, go to ddpyoga.com, and right there you'll see the, the greatest transformation in fitness history, a disabled veteran who's walking on canes, 300 pounds, 5'6", watch what happens to him at the end of that video. He loses 130 pounds, and this workout's not about weight loss, but it's an awesome side effect. If you go to that diamonddowspage.com, see that, see Jeremy's testimony, and if you go to my wall of testimony, you'll see see Josh, you'll see Perry Saturn, Mero, Glacier, a lot of top end guys, football players, Darren Brooks, the guys who did all towards the end of their career. DDP Yoga will change your life. And if you've got workshops, if you've got seminars, like there's a couple of dojos I'm already scheduled to go into, where I'll come in for like a two week period, contact me at ddpyoga.com and just go to the contacts area and you'll go right to my guy. Actually, if you hit do the workouts on diamonddollarspace.com, we can talk about me coming into your dojo for a day, for a day, for a weekend, seminar, privates, whatever. This is the LA Fitness Expo. It's the first time I've ever been here. Yesterday was insane. Today it's a little more laid back, but it's still jamming, but you get to feel the vibe. And, you know, the main reason I came here is because you know, being a professional wrestler didn't start wrestling until I was 35. My career did not take off until I was 40. That was 1996. 97 and 98, I was on top of the game. Top of my game, on top of the world, Pro Wrestling Illustrated ended up ranking me number four in the world both years. New job. Then I ruptured my L4 and L5 so badly, back up a little bit, I back here in the lower part of my back, that this old flexibility wall had to push myself back up again. I had to come back in. I had three doctors tell me my career was over. Now, I'm doing the rehab because I already understand rehab my shoulders, tore both rotator cuff. Rehab my knees, tore both meniscus. I understand rehab. But it wasn't getting to me. The doctors told me it wasn't going to work. My wife at the time, we were still married, was like, why don't you try doing yoga to heal your body? Yoga? I'm not doing yoga. Actually, I said F dash 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 that. I would be caught dead doing yoga. And I actually got quoted in the Wall Street Journal when I ended up writing many years later yoga for regular guys in the book. And um, they actually reviewed me and he said F dash 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 that. I would be caught dead doing yoga. The point is, is that I mentioned it. And because of it, I ended up getting flexibility, core strength in my body that was turning things on. So I started mixing with the rehab. And I started adding old school calisthenics, push-ups, squats, crunches, done with a slow motion guard movement. So you lower for three, two, one, hold three, touch the ground. Three, two, one, now push up. Three, two, one, come down for three, hold for three. Now go into go. Now go into down go. So it's a three second became five second, five second became ten second. Ten second became sets of ten second. All build up. So now my body after two months is going strong. And I end up so I do cardio, stairmaster. I always wear a heart monitor, so you know where you are in your zone. Long story short, I'm doing my workout after doing the stairmaster. I'm doing those push-ups. I realize my heart rate's like 142. Oh my God, I'm, I'm not doing push-ups. So I got up and started realizing the more I engage in muscle, as I move with that I call dynamic resistance. Every time you engage a muscle, your heart's got to be faster to get the blood to the muscle. So if you're engaging your upper body, your core, and your lower body. Your heart's gonna have to move your best. So I end up creating a workout. Zero impact on your body, which is pivotal, especially for mixed martial arts. Because so much of the workout is impact. In my scenario, I created a workout DDP Yoga. It ain't your mama show. Zero impact. Kick-ass cardio, dramatically increased flexibility, and core strength conditioning. Within three months, I'm back in the ring. At 42, they said my wrestling career was over. At 43, I'm the heavyweight champion of the world. Oldest crown champion ever. And I would get that three different times. It was more of a transitional thing for me, but it was a great saying, all the hard work that you put in. And I was, at the time, I was one of the best in the world at what I did. And this became part of my practice. Now you're successful in terms yoga. Uh, it has transitioned to the MMA world. Uh, you've been uh, training with Josh Barnett. Josh Barnett has a fight coming up. How is the how is yoga transition for the MMA fighter? 
the MMA fighter, there's two things that are very, very uh, uh, similar to professional wrestling. Being beat up, being broken down, wearing your body out. Now, if you're preparing like Josh is, he doesn't want to have a date yet, but he's going to be at some point six to eight weeks out, and he will start to go six to eight hours, at least a minimum of six hours every day. So everything they do, grappling, striking, uh, weightlifting, pounding, you know, the, the, the tires, I mean, everything they do is major impact on the body. This, taking the time to do DDP yoga, and when I worked out with Josh, I just watched the, uh, the tape that he gave me endorsement afterwards, and that he was gonna start using it, preparing for his next fight with it. <clears throat> He said that he couldn't believe, his heart rate was at one time 174, and again, off of this, and I said, disengage, because I don't want you up that high. I want him to stay right in his fat burning zone, where 34 years old is 144, because he's a permanently trained athlete, he go to 154, but I didn't want him to go over that, because at the end of the workout, I wanted to feel invigorated, at the end of an hour, kick-ass workout, his mat is full of sweat, my head died. Which he pointed out at ddpyoga.com. You can see his, uh, his talk about it after we worked out. Um, but he was ready to go. He said after, after right afterwards, he was you know, relaxed. He was he was uh, he was a little bit you know burned out. But in 15 minutes, because you do all that stretching. Every time you stretch, not just the blood, you have to go harder, pump the blood to get to your heart rate. Oxidize your blood by the time continuing to stretch it, which gives you energy. 15 minutes later, he's like, Man, I, I'm like ready to go. He wanted to do his kickboxing right then, but it was for another hour and a half away. So it was really awesome to see how much he got it. You know, I've got the professional wrestlers, Chris Jericho, Taz, Kane, you know, uh, uh, Mick Foley just started doing it. And it's all about breaking up the scar tissue and making them strong and flexible, because if you're flexible, the odds of you getting hurt are much less.